Hi, uh, today I uh, flew the X30 for the last time. It uh, wound up uh, buying the farm this morning. Uh, it flew pretty decent. Uh, the actual cause of the crash, I, I still don't know. Uh, and it definitely will not be the last 30X that I'll build. Let me just bring it up closer. This is what it looks like up close. I've been experimenting with different covering materials. On here on this side is a decal and on here is a rub-on. But I found another material that works actually better than these two. And I'll show you that in a moment. So there's our fan, 30 millimeter, has a low C 10,250 kV uh, motor in it. Uh, a lot of people think that's too much motor for three cells, but it, it seems to be holding up pretty well. I keep my flights fairly short. Down here you can see I'm using a six, an AR6300 receiver. Back in there is a speed control and the two servos are right here. I use carbon fiber for the main gear and I, and I like this system because it, it holds up nicely. And uh, the next plane, I'll probably rip this out of this plane and put it in one of my other planes. This is the pusher that I'm working on. It's pretty much the same as the other plane. Uh, the only difference is, is this one's going to have a pusher instead of a EDF in the back. And I've modified the nose wheel landing gear. The other plane, the landing gear was too springy. So what I've done is I've come up with a system so that the plane sits on the gear like this during uh, takeoff. And then when it lands, it collapses and keeps the plane on the ground. It won't collapse this far. There'll be a piece of rubber on the inside and the, the gear will collapse up to about there. I think that's going to work really well. So basically I'll be able to land it like a carrier plane, come, just fly it right into the, into the ground. We'll see how that works. <clears throat> this one will be quite a bit lighter than uh, the other one. Now what I used on this one is Papilio's canvas transfer sheets. Uh, they're inkjet sheets that you print on and I printed out the uh, fuselage and the wings on this stuff and then I transferred it to the Depron and then I cut out the, the different parts. This is what it looks like after I printed it out on the sheet. This is the fuselage for probably my next 30X. I kind of like this color scheme. And uh, so this would probably be the next one. Here is the wings for the same plane. Um, and what I've done in this case is I've already uh, printed on the opposite side so that on the one side I'll be green and on the other side will be yellow. And I don't know how I could screw that up in, in flight. I shouldn't have any problems with uh, telling which way is up. That's my plan anyway. You're really not limited to the color schemes. Here's another color scheme. I tried to create a metallic look to them and give them some interesting detail just so that it doesn't look very boring like the original one. These are the bottom pieces and uh, I'll probably cut these out tomorrow sometime and I'll show you how I make these up for the bottom. They'll wind up looking like this one. This is the one from the 30X and here's one that's ready to go on the bottom of a plane it's already been folded up and what I've done is I've used tape on the outside where I was going to bend it. So basically this, the tape reinforces the point where it bends. On the inside I've cut a 90 degree groove and then I fold it up and then I apply CA to the joints and I hold it this way and then when the glue dries you wind up with a nice 90 degree piece, nice and clean and strong.
Here's a close-up of the uh, Losi motor that was in or is in the EDF over there. This one has a prop on it. This is actually too much prop for this motor. And so I have to find another prop that might work with this. Okay. I think I showed you everything I wanted to tonight. Um, essentially, uh, the next time I video, I should be showing you a new 30X, or at least one that's in the process of being built. You can see I've made a hash to take the fan in and out, and I wound up not using it because I, I decided I needed to move the fan, fan further back than where it was. So this be became unnecessary. But I may use it for another plane somewhere down the road. So that's the 30X. Let's say farewell to the 30X. <laughs> it bought the farm today. Seriously. Oh, uh, one of the other things I could point out right now, when I cut this stuff out, I just use a sharp number 11 blade. And it's important that you have a nice surface to work on. And I use one of these uh, cutting mats. And it works really nice. I find a nice place to sit down and with a sharp knife and just take my time and cut them out. I don't use a straight edge, I just follow the lines that I've already created on the, on the film. So there you can see it. Okay, thanks for watching. <laughs>